click on this video welcome to my space today we're going to be talking about the trends of spring summer 2023 that myself or you should not be rocking this is something you think you would enjoy which i think you should sit back relax and let's have a good time watching this video my name is stephanie and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform We're going to be talking about the trends that we are going to be ditching. First of all, let's even just start talking about trends. I know trends is the word that some people don't really like to hear because obviously you want to have your own style. But then again, as fashion enthusiasts or fashionistas, when there's a trend, you implement it by making it your own. People want to see how people can, you know, exploit that trend and make it their own. So first of all, let's even go back to how these trends are set. During the fashion season, which is usually February and September, around that time, the four major cities have the amazing big designer showcase their stuff new york milan paris and london london obviously is not as big as the other three boys they also have really good designers so yeah these designers come and showcase their stuff they show you like in september last year 2022 they were showing us what we're going to be wearing in spring summer 2023 so that's how it goes same thing with autumn winter the year before the season before you know they show you what you're going to be wearing that year so when they show all these things obviously as we every industry People who make noise, the people who are big dogs cannot just sit down and things will be happening. They actually come together and sort of have a structure of what these trends should be following and then they show it in their pieces wearable and unwearable you'll still be able to see these different trends that they want you to wear that season on the wrong way that's why you now see your zara your h&m your high street stores now wearing the same thing you're like h&m copy zara zara copy no they're actually all copying their master the baba the people who are actually doing these fashion weeks and then obviously after all these things happen because there was one time I, I was watching this event she said she was going for a trend meeting or a trend something where they now okay like now sit down we're in London now, okay, well, these are the trends, you know, how are we actually pushing them out, blah, blah, blah. So this is actually set on stone. Obviously, they, a lot of them come back, go come back. So as a fashion person, as a stylish person, you obviously know what your style is. When these trends come, you just try to put infuse it in your already existing style and then show people how you're rocking it and how the magic is happening. With all these being said, our spring and summer 2023 trends, according to Vogue, are the following. So I'm going to list them out for you quickly and then maybe give you a picture of a designer who was rocking these outfits on their own way and then we'll now talk about what we are not going to be wearing. Number one, so Vogue called this one pocket change. Obviously, it's your cargo pants, your cargo skirts, your cargo every single thing. So we were just one pocket, pocket, pocket everywhere. For this one, Fendi had this lovely cargo pants on their own way. The next one, Vogue called the pillow top, but that one is, it's kind of like wearing your nightwear as outerwear. And I'm not even talking nightwear as part, you know, that silk, satin, feathery set situation. No, I'm talking see-through. I'm talking sheer. I'm talking lace. You know those things you wear to be sexy in your home? Yes, that. So wearing that, you know, outside, some people wear it a layer or whatever, but in fact, I'm not going to talk about how people do it, but yeah, that is the trend. The lovely Nancy Dojaka showed us a piece of this on their own way. Next is the one book called Shitting from the Hip. This particular trend is, um, you know how you have a dress or a top that just, you know, goes normally and then once it gets to your waist or your hip side, psh, it comes off, just gives you that exaggerated effect. I'm going to do a styling video on one of these pieces and show you later. But yeah, that's so that's it for this one. So it comes in both tops, dresses, skirts. You can have the shoot from the hip trend. Richard Queen had a dress on the runway that showed this perfect. Next is grunge revisited. Grunge is in fact that, that they even call it revisited because like seriously, grunge never really goes. So this is just that relaxed look with um, maybe clothes that have distressed hems, you know, those kind of looks that we ideally wear with your Doc Martens, even if they are like a girly look you i didn't wear them with your dog matters jw anderson showed this beautifully on the runway also botanka vanessa had a lovely one they showed on their runway next one is called different angles so these different angles is just asymmetry really so it could go with your neckline it could go with the bottom the hem of your skirt your top your dress whatever it is it's just an asymmetrical you know situation of thing but this one article had a lovely skirt i would put on the screen now for you to see and I'm sure some of you that have been waiting for this one, Vogue called it Mood Indigo. And I'm sure you'd have guessed right, it's denim. So denim, 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 denim on denim, denim on denim on denim on denim on denim This one, I have a Marine Serene dress I'm going to put on the screen for you, which they showed on their runway during um, SS23 show. Next, silver linings. When I saw the silver linings, I thought, okay, metallics were coming back because really, we've always had this metallic, but this one is actually for silver, silver, silver. For this particular trend, I will be showing you a Gucci dress. Next, they call this one surface value. When you hear surface value, you're thinking, ah, something simple. This 
particular surface value was born from covid from the pandemic where you know people just needed likes and all that so it's a situation where you are just wearing one statement like when something very normal then the one thing is like pow like not just color block you know like pow it actually gives that pow so that is the surface value one and i'll show you a dress by alexander McQueen. next is say yes to the goddess that's a lovely goddess you know evening gown situation that is also in trend this ss23 and i'll be showing you a paragamo dress that was shown during the shows last but not the least the term this fight club but this one i didn't really get what this trend was but from what i could see and read it's like corset tops you know those things like those heavy waist belts like fight club like you're just caging yourself something like that so yeah that's like goes from this so it's like metallic corset tops or those heavy waist belts that a lot of you wear over your dresses or skirts that you know just bring your look together so that is another trend for 2023 so now that i've said all these trends which ones are we not wearing first of all guys me or you nobody i know should be wearing that one a vogue called the one vogue called pillow talk please just keep that to the bedroom what are you wearing i understand share outfits so to be honest I, i'm not really a fan when you're now showing your bra your bra like you can be wearing share but showing something that's not your underwear your underwear should not be saying yes it's under but it should also be hidden away in your head like just wearing things that are necessarily sexy and provocative in fact that brings me to this i was even complaining to my friend your daddy all these influencers on instagram outfits of the day you want to show us that you went out of the day Sometimes you should just wear maybe your night or just something casual first of all you do not wear bra and pants like nobody should be seeing all that do you get pleasing yourself is not the total point of fashion it's actually looking your best and not looking trashy so please me and mine <laughs> let's stay out of this pillow talk lingerie wearing nighty wearing stuff outside the house like just keep it in the house basically this is the only trend i'm really not a fan of for this season so i don't want you to be wearing it thank you i'm going to be showing you i think five of these ten of the ones i'm really loving and how i'm wearing them and obviously other examples of how they can be worn but mostly how i'm wearing them in another video so please stay tuned click the thumb up button please and drop a comment because i really love to read from you if you haven't subscribed please do what are you waiting for click the bell also so you get notifications every time i post share this video with your friends your family your loved ones and your enemies of course follow me on instagram at metro gfc i'll see you on the next episode bye bye Mwah.